सेवन ट्वेल्व क्लियर राइट इधर यूज दिस मेथड और यूज दिस मेथड विच एवर इज कन वॉट आर वी यूजिंग हियर वी आर यूजिंग बाई आंसर ऑप्शन विच एवर इज कन्वीनियंट फॉर यू पिक दैट एंड Please hear 27 question. If you have understood 26 question, you will tell the answer without using pen. If the SI for three years at a 20 percent rate of interest is 120, SI for three years at 20 percent, what is the effective rate of interest? 60 percent. 60 percent is giving you 120. What will be the CI for same number of years at same rate of interest? Three years 20 percent. 20 20 40 for you will get 44 with 20 72.8. We we'll did it in the first problem of compound interest. 72.8 percentage should give you how much? 60 into 2 is 120. 72.8 into 2 is 145.6. Over. If you are able to find multiplying factors like this, it will be easy. Otherwise, cross multiply and find it out. That's all. Understanding? So it can be either two years, three years, four years, whatever it is. Use this logic, you will get the answer in less time. Find the principal if amount for two years at 18 percent per annum rate of interest is 6962. Amount is given as 6962. Rate of interest is given as 18 percentage. Number of years is given as two years. Find the principal. Find the principal. Yes. Everyone knows what is digital sum concept. New students. Everyone. Hmm. Fine. See here. Amount in compound interest. It is given by. Principal into one plus R percentage to the power of n. Amount is given as six nine six two. Principal is I don't know. I will call it as. <laughs> Can I write one as hundred percentage? One is nothing but hundred percentage. Hundred percent plus eighteen percent. Hundred and eighteen percentage. Hundred and eighteen by hundred. Number of years is two years. Number of years is two years. One way to calculate is square this, square this, divide one by the other, divide by this number. You will get the answer. Let us do digital sum of this. Please see here. Digital sum. What is the digital sum of six nine six two? Six plus nine is fifteen. Fifteen plus six is twenty one. Twenty one plus two is twenty three. Twenty three is five. Two plus three five. P into one plus one is two. Two plus eight is ten. Ten is nothing but one plus zero. One. One square is one. Divided by one plus zero plus zero is one. One square is one. Five is equal to some number into one. What is the sum number? It should be five only. Five is equal to five into one only, right? Can any other number satisfy this equation? No. Principal digital sum should be five. Only option in the answer option is five thousand. Five thousand. Please check the answer option. Five thousand. Principal is five thousand. Clear with the approach. Instead of squaring this, dividing one by the other, and then again dividing by this number. It is better to apply digital sum concept. Prashant invested an amount of eight thousand rupees in a fixed deposit scheme for two years at compound interest rate at five percentage per annum. How much amount will Prashant get on maturity of fixed deposit? Please see here. Same logic. Amount is principal into one plus R percentage to the power of y in terms of compound interest. Amount is what I need to find out. Let me call it as y. Principal is given as eight thousand, eight thousand. One is nothing but hundred percentage. Hundred percentage plus five percentage. Hundred and five percentage. Hundred and five by hundred. Number of years given is two years. Number of years given is two years. Okay. One way is to find multiply all these things divide by this number. You will get the answer. Other way, digital sum of eight thousand. It is eight. One plus five is six. Six square is thirty six. What is the digital sum of thirty six? Nine. Divided by one. Nine into eight is seventy-two. What is the digital sum of seventy-two? Nine. Amount of digital sum should be nine. Check out the answer option. What is the answer option? Eight eight two zero. Eight eight two zero. What is the digital sum? Eight plus eight sixteen. Sixteen plus two eighteen. Eighteen plus zero eighteen. Eighteen is nothing but one plus eight nine. Answer is eight eight two. Please see here. Listen to this before we go on to the next problem. Please listen to this carefully. I think the people who have attended percentage of topic, it is the same one for the next five minutes. For the new joiners, I am just telling for the next five minutes. Please see here. Suppose, listen to this. Suppose I need to find 1.02 power 4 approximate value. 1.02 power 4 approximate value. Everyone, please see here. 1.02. Can I write it as upon 0.02 or upon one? Upon one. There is an increase of 0.02. If I increase 0.02 upon 1, it will become 1.02 only, right? 
These two will also give you 4.04 percentage. 4.04 percentage. Again, apply successive percentage. 4.04, 4.04. But see here, we are finding the approximate value. This 0 0.04 is negligibly small compared to 4. Ignore the 0.04. Anyway, we are finding the approximate value. So this will become 4 percentage and 4 percentage. 4 percentage, 4 percentage. 4 plus 4. 4 plus 4 plus 4 into 4 by 100 percentage. How much it is? 8.16 percentage. 8.16 percentage is 8.16 by 100. What is 8.16 by 100? 0 0.0816. I can also write 0 0.0816 as 0 0.0816 by 1. That means upon 1 there is an increase of 0 0.0816. Your answer is approximately 1.0816. 1.081. Okay? Result to this carefully. Suppose if I want to find 1.03 power 16, 1.03 power 16, 1.03 is multiplied 16 times. 1.03 is multiplied 16 times. What is 1.03 power 16? Upon 1, there is an increase of 0 0.03. 0 0.03. This is nothing but 3 percentage. 3 percentage. That means I should write this 3 percentage 16 times. I should write 3 percentage 16 times. Previous problem 2 percentage was written 4 times. So it was bit easier to calculate. Now I need to write 6, 3 percentage 16 times. Instead of using this approach, listen to this carefully. 2 percentage was written how many times? 4 times. 2 percentage is written 4 times. What did this eventually become to? 2 percentage written 4 times became 4 percentage written 2 times. Approximately. Agreed? 2 percentage written 4 times became 4 percentage written 2 times. Approximately. That means left hand side left hand side the percentage value keep on doubling it right hand side number of times value keep on dividing it by 2 keep on dividing it by 2 same concept will apply here also 3 percentage is written how many times 16 times 3 percentage is written 16 times double this 6 percentage is written 8 times double this 12 percentage is written 4 times again double this 24 percentage is written 2 times 24 percentage written 2 times. 3 percentage written 16 times is approximately equal to 24 percentage written 2 times. Why approximately? We are eliminating all these 0.04, all those fractional values. Okay? 24 percentage 2 times. Use successive percentages. It is 24 plus 24 plus 24 into 24 by 100 percentage. What is 24 plus 24? 48. 48 plus. 24 into 24 is 576. 576 by 100 is 5.76. 48 plus 5.76. 53.7. Okay. So 24 percentage two times. When you do successive approximation, you will get 24 plus 24 plus 24 into 24 by 100 percentage. 53.76 percentage. Or it is 0.5376 by 1. Upon 1, there is an increase of 0.5376. Your answer is approximately 1.5376. Your answer is approximately 1.5376. So whatever the power it might be, it can be a lowest power or, or it can be a maximum highest power. Use this successive percentage logic, it will be very simple. Okay? But write it down. We will explain the problem based on this logic only. That is the reason I discussed this initially. Clear, right? The percentages values keep on multiplying by 2. Number of times values keep on dividing by 2 until you get 2 times. Okay. Shall I continue with the problem? Please see your 30th question. Please see your 30th one. Find the amount after 2 years compounded semi-annually at 10% rate of interest under compound interest for a principal of 700. They are asking to find the amount. Principal is given as 700. Rate of interest is given as 10% 10, 10 compounded semi-annually. 
compounded semi-annually. This is what is given. Compounded semi-annually. Number of years is given as 2 years. Please listen to this. Don't remember any formula for compounded semi-annually separately, compounded quarterly separately. Not required. Only one notation is enough. Amount is principal into 1 plus R percentage to the power of N. This is compounded annually. Listen to this carefully. Amount is what I need to find it. Principal is 700 into 1 plus 1 plus. See here. Listen to this everyone. 10 percentage. It is compounded semi-annually. What is the meaning of semi-annually? Half yearly. Half yearly. That means in one year I will meet you two times. Every six months I am meeting you once. In one year I am meeting you two times. Whenever I meet you, I should pay this 10 rupees for one year. This 10 rupees for one year. I should complete that 10 rupees in equal installments. In one year I am meeting you two times. 10 rupees should be divided in equal installments. Every time how much I will give you? 5, 5 rupees. That is your rate of interest. 5%. What is N? N is nothing but. In one year I am meeting you two times. In two years I have how many times will I meet you? Four times. N is nothing but four. Please say here. N is not the number of years. N is nothing but. Number of times, times, number of times I am meeting you or in other words, number of times compounding it done. N is nothing but number of years in case of compounded annually, not everywhere. Okay, number of times compounding it done. Please see here. 700 into 1 plus 5 percentage to the power of 4. One way to calculate it. 105 by 100 volt to the power of 4. If digital sum is matching, go ahead with digital sum like our previous two problems. Other way, 5 percentage 4 times. 5 percentage 4 times. This is approximately 10 percentage 2 times. 10 percentage 2 times. 10 percentage 2 times. How much you will get? 21 percentage. 10 plus 10 plus 10 into 10 by 100 percentage. 21 percentage. That means amount is approximately 700 into 1 plus 21 percentage. You are reducing the power of 4 to a power of 1. This is approximately 700 into 121 percentage. 121 percentage is 121 by 100. 100, 7, 700. What is 121 into 7? 847. Amount is approximately 847. Understanding? Instead of multiplying it 4 times, use successive percentages of appli application. It will be easier. <coughs> Tell me. 1 plus 5 percentage. 5 percentage to the power of 4. Five, that one I am keeping like that only, right? In the in the in between you will get so many terms. If you expand that binomial expansion, all will be very negligible. Ignore it because you are finding approximate value. Understanding the approach? Doubt, sir? Repeat. From where should I repeat, sir? This ten became five. You understood how you got it? No. Okay. See here. What is the meaning of 10 percentage rate of interest? Rate of interest is always for one year. At the end of one year, I should give you 10 rupees. At the end of one year, I should give you 10 rupees. Suppose, assume that I am meeting you only once in one year. I will give that 10 rupees there itself. Correct. But I am not meeting you once in one year. I am meeting you semi-annually. Semi-annually means every six months. Every six months, I will meet you. But that means in one year, I will meet you two times. I should pay that 10 rupees in equal installments in both the times when I, when, when I meet you. 10 rupees in equal installment two times. Every time how much I should give you? 5, 5 rupees. First time 5 rupees, second time 5 rupees. So to total in one year I pay you the 10 rupees. That rate of interest is 5 percentage. Why n is not 2, why n is 4? See here. In one year I am meeting you two times. But what is the number of years given in the question? Two years. In one year I am meeting you two times. In two years I will meet you four times. n is 4. Understanding? After what it is what we discussed previously. Same logic applied, you will get the answer. Clear right everyone? <coughs> this is semi-annually. Suppose. Sir, if we do by distance, you will not get this answer because you are finding approximate value. Approximate. Digital sum never works when the values are approximated. Okay? I will tell you. After second problem, I will tell you. 31st question. Please see the 31st question. Thirty-first question. Find the amount after two years. Amount after two years. Compounded. Compounded quarterly. It is compounded quarterly. 
at 8% rate of interest compound interest 8% rate of interest compound interest for a principal of 800 rupees principal is given as 800 rupees this is what is given in the question okay quarterly quarterly means it is 1 by 4 what is 1 by 4 of 12 3 months every 3 months i will meet you every 3 months i will meet you that is the meaning of it see here don't remember any formula separately for quarterly amount is principal into 1 plus r percentage to the power of n amount principal is given as 800 1 plus r percentage at the end of one year i should pay you 8 rupees i should pay you 8 rupees i am meeting you every 3 months that means in a year i will meet you 4 times every time when i meet you i should pay this 8 rupees in equal installments 8 rupees in 4 times equal installments every time is 2 rupees every time i am paying you 2, 2 rupees in one year i will meet you 4 times in 2 years i will meet you 8 times 2 years i will meet you 8 times Use the logic. 2 percentage 8 times. 2 percentage 8 times. This is approximately 4 percentage 4 times. This is approximately 8 percentage 2 times. Agreed? 8 percentage 2 times. 8 percentage 2 times is 8 plus 8. 16. 8 into 8 by 100. 0. 0.64. 16.64 percentage. 16.64 percentage. Substitute here. Amount is approximately 800 into 1 plus 16.64 percentage. This is approximately 800 into 116.64 percentage, 116.64 by 100. So it is approximately 928. 928. Understanding the approach? If you do it by normal approach, 102 by 100, multiply it 8 times, it, it will be lot of, it will take lot of time. Clear? Use successive percentages application. Understanding everyone? Don't remember separately formula for quarterly, separate formula for half yearly, not required. Same annually, remember annually, everything right, do it by logic. Okay? Kavya, you are doubt, see here. Suppose, listen to this. 29th or 28th question, we solved by using digital sum, correct? What if more than one answer option is having the same digital sum, correct? Use successive percentage, that is one way of telling, okay? If more than one answer option has the same digital sum, use successive percentage, okay? Second way, if power is more than 3, if power is 3, I think you can cube the number, not that difficult if you have attended speed math session. If power is 2, very easy, if power is 8 or something like greater than 3, use successive percentage application. Understanding? Use successive percentage application. If answer options are not close to each other, use successive percentage application. If answer options are close to each other, you are approximating all these values. You will not be in a position to judge which, whether this is the correct or next one is the correct. Understanding? When two options have same digital sum, use successive percentage. If power is greater than 3, use successive percentage. If answer options are not close to each other, use successive percentage. Understanding? Next. 31st over. Clear, right, everyone? Clear? 31st over, sir. 32nd. 32nd. Please listen to 32nd question. Very easy question. A tree grows annually by one eighth of its height. By what? By how much it will grow after two years if it stands 64 centimeters long today? Final value after 2 years I require. Initial value is given as 64 cm into 1 plus. They have given every year it will grow 1 eighth of its height. 1 eighth of its height. And it is given for 2 years. Instead of giving rate of rate of interest at 12.5 percentage, they are telling 1 eighth of its height. That is the only difference between that and this problem. So it is 64 into 9 by 8 whole square. 64 into 81 by 64. 64 cancel. So final value is 81. Final value is 81 centimeters. Okay? But students will mark the answer as 81, which is incorrect. Please read the question carefully. By how much it will grow after 2 years if it stands 64 centimeters tall? Initially it was 64. 64 is becoming 81. How much it has grown? 17. 81 minus 64. Please read the question carefully before you mark your answer. Answer is not 81, answer is 17. That is the reason both the answer options are given in the question.
clear right an application based problem based on compound interest question okay 33rd all these are easy questions sir 33 34 please see here 33rd question a sum of money becomes eight times of itself in three years at compound interest find the rate of interest if you remember similar to this we have called a simple interest question now it is a compound interest sum of money becomes eight times of itself number of years is three years what else is given that's all i need to find the rate of interest see here in compound interest amount is principal into one plus r percentage to the power of n amount becomes eight times of principal principal into 1 plus r percentage to the power of number of years is given as 3 these two will get cancelled something should be something to the power of 3 is on the right hand side left hand side also express as something power 3 8 is 2 power 3 1 plus r percentage to the power of 3 taking cube root on both sides 2 is equal to 1 plus r percentage 2 minus 1 is equal to r percentage r percentage is 100 percent clear simple application once you know that notation it will be very simple see the 34th question if the sum of money doubles at 12.5 percentage per annum rate of interest per annum what is the time period in case of ci please see here there is a small note if you remember this it will be very simple if amount is two times the principal that is what is given in the question doubles okay if amount is two times the principal then number of years is approximately given by 72 divided by r if amount is two times the principal number of years is approximately given by 72 divided by r where r is not in terms of percentages small r is not in terms of percentages in this question also amount is two times the principal we are discussing 34th question amount is two times the principal so number of years is approximately 72 divided by what is r r is nothing but 12.5 it is not in terms of percentages 12.5 12.5 25 by 2 so number of years is approximately 72 into 2 by 25 144 by 25 144 by 25 is approximately 5.76 years 5.76 years understanding if amount is two times the principal number of years is approximately given by 72 divided by r If you want, how did you get this? Amount is nothing but principal into 1 plus r percentage to the power of n. Take logarithm, again take anti logarithm, do all the calculations, you will get it. Okay, instead of all those things, just remember it. However, simple, it is applicable to you. Please see the 35th question. The difference between simple and compound interest compounded annually on a sum of money for 2 years at 10 percent per annum is 65 rupees what is the sum please see here listen to this 35th question they are telling difference between compound interest for two years and simple interest for two years it is given as 65 rupees rate of interest is given as 10 percentage rate of interest is given as 10 percentage number of years is given as two years it is already mentioned here what is the sum what is the principal okay please see here don't use any formula if you see your local textbook, there will be a formula given for this. There will be a formula given for this. Please see here. Don't use any formula. In case of compound interest, rate of interest is always successive. 10 percentage for 2 years, successive. 10 plus 10 plus 20 into 10 by 100, 21 percentage. This is 21 percentage. Minus. In case of SI, it is same every year. 20 percentage. 21 percentage minus 20 percentage. 1 percentage. 1 percentage is 1 by 100. If I take 100 rupees from you, if I take 100 rupees from you, what is this one? How did you get this one? When you subtracted this two. Compound interest for 2 years minus simple interest for 2 years, it will be 1. It will be 1. But according to the question, it is not 1. How much it is? 65. 1 should become 65. Multiply by 65. This also multiply by 65. Answer is 6500. Hold on. Please see here. Don't write. Just answer this question orally, don't use pen. Compound interest for 2 years minus simple interest for 2 years. It is 12. It is 12. Rate of interest is 20 percentage. Find the principal. Don't use pencil. Answer it orally. 
ट्वेंटी परसेंटेज टू ईयर फोर्टी फोर परसेंटेज फोर्टी फोर परसेंटेज माइनस फोर्टी परसेंटेज फोर परसेंटेज फोर बाई हंड्रेड इफ आई टेक हंड्रेड आई विल गिव यू फोर बट यू शुड आई शुड गिव यू ट्वेल्व फोर इंटू थ्री ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड इंटू थ्री थ्री हंड्रेड अंडरस्टैंडिंग अप्रोच राइट Answer for this question is three hundred. I think everyone understood how we got three hundred. Clear, right, everyone? Suppose. So this is for two years. Suppose. Again, don't use pen. Let us answer orally. Please see here. Let me write one more question. Suppose compound interest for three years. Minus simple interest for three years. It is given as sixty-two. It is given as sixty-two. Rate of interest is ten percentage. Number of years is three years. Find the principal. Let us tell answer orally. Ten percentage for three years. Compound interest. Ten. Ten with ten will give you twenty-one. Twenty-one with ten. Twenty-one plus ten. Thirty-one. Twenty-one into ten by hundred. Two point one. Thirty-one plus two point one. Thirty-three point one. So this is thirty-three point one. Minus this is thirty percentage, three point one percentage, three point one percentage, three point one by hundred. If I have taken hundred, the difference is three point one. Understanding approach, right? If I have taken hundred, the difference is three point one. According to the question, it should be sixty two into twenty into twenty. Answer is two thousand. Clear? You have a formula in your textbooks for two years, for three years. Okay, but don't you need not apply any formula. If you know the logic, you need not use your pen also. I think you only understood that by now. Question number thirty-six. Once you understand the concept, you can only create your own questions. That is the beauty of knowing the concept. Question number thirty-six. Question number thirty-six. Please see here. What is the difference between? Simple interest and compound interest for four years. Simple interest and compound interest for four years. This is what they are asking now. Okay, what is the difference? Is what they are asking. At ten percent rate of interest per annum. Rate of interest is ten percent per annum. On a sum of rupees thousand after four years. On a sum of rupees thousand after four years. Okay. Let us not change the application. Let us use the same concept. Ten percent for four years under compound interest. If you do two ten, you will get twenty one. Another two ten also twenty one. Twenty one plus twenty one, forty two. Twenty one into twenty one by hundred, four forty one by hundred, four point four one. Forty two plus four point four one, forty six point four one. Forty six point four one percentage. This is forty percentage. Forty percentage. Forty six point four one minus forty. Six point four one percentage. Six point four one by hundred. If I take hundred rupees from you. The difference is nothing but six point four one rupees. The difference is nothing but six point four one rupees. But I am not taking hundred rupees from you. How much I am taking from you? Thousand rupees. Hundred should become thousand. Multiply by ten. Here also multiply by ten. Answer is sixty four point one. Sir, but it's not working when you are taking like ten percent four years, twenty percent for two times. Total, it will not work. Twenty percent for two times. Ten percent for four times. Twenty for two times. It will work, right? Numbers will be different. That's all. Ten percent for four years. Under which one you want? Compound or simple interest? Compound. Compound interest. It will be the same, right? Correct. Twenty percent for two years. Under simple interest you want? It will be twenty percent, right? No, sir. Ten percent for four times. Ten percent for four times. Twenty percent will be for two times. Doubling the percentage. That is your approximate value, sir. That is your approximate value. When are you finding the approximate value? First of all, why are you finding approximate value? To reduce your calculation. To reduce your calculation. Your power was power eight there. Do you wish to multiply it eight times? Please go ahead. No one told you not to multiply eight times. If you have so much of time in the world, please multiply eight times. Why are we making approximate value? Only to reduce our calculation. Understanding? If you get if you get by approximation here, you will not get the exact answer here also. As simple as that. Correct. Why did I tell you the 10 percentage four times is 20 percentage two times? That is only to reduce our time. 
only to reduce our time. Understanding? It was power 8 in that question. What was that question? 1 plus 2 percentage or some percentage to the power of 8. Correct? 102 by 100 multiply 8 times if you have doubt. Otherwise, 2 percentage 8 times, 4 percentage 4 times, 8 percentage 2 times. Understanding? It is only approximation. In fact, if you solve it properly, here also you will get exact value. I am not telling you will get approximate. When you should solve it properly, 2 percentage 8 times you are writing. When you do 2 percentage 2 times, what are you getting? 4.04 percentage. Don't ignore this 0 0.04. Don't ignore. Keep, keep that 0 0.04. Here also 4.04. 4.04, 4.04. .04. Again you successive approximation for 4.04, 4.04. You will get again some decimal values. It will, it will be very difficult as the process continues. Understanding? That is the reason we are eliminating that 0 0.04 and making approximate. Getting the idea? Only to reduce our time in examination, we are using that logic, nothing else. Understanding? Multiply it 8 times, you will get the exact answer. No need of approximate also. Exact answer only, you will get it. Clear, right? Understanding? Still have doubt? Please ask me. <laughs> so, answer is 1000. See, yes, suppose... Suppose, compound interest for 3 years minus simple interest for 3 years. There is a formula in your textbook. For 2 years, there is a formula. For 4 years, they will put in a box. I told you for demo student, out of syllabus. What will you do? One. Understanding the approach? If you don't know the concept, you will think that 4 years, I studied 10 books till now. In all the 10 books, 4 years was not given. So, question is wrong. That is what you will think. And you will leave the question. Understanding? Question is not wrong. Your way of answering or looking into the question is wrong. Okay, please change that. Next. 37. Good question. Please see here. All the three questions what we did till now, all are compounded annually. Compounded annually. It can be compounded semi-annually, it can be compounded quarterly, whatever it is. That is your 37th question. The difference between compound interest and simple interest on 1200 for one year is at 10 percent per annum is how much that is what they are asking that is what they are asking they are telling rate of interest is 10 percentage rate of interest is 10 percentage number of year is given as one year but they are telling it is half yearly compounded half yearly compounded half yearly i need to give this 10 rupees for you in one year but i am meeting you in two times in a year 10 rupees i should split it in equal installments how much it is five. 5 and 5 so rate of interest now changes to 5 percentage 5 percentage for one year Com okay 5 percentage for you you should give two times 5 rupees 5 percentage two times how much it will be 5 plus 5 plus 5 into 5 by 100 10.25 percentage minus comp simple interest 5 percentage 2 times, it will be 10 percentage. 10.25 minus 10, 0.25 percentage. 0.25 percentage is 0.25 by 100. If I take 100 rupees from you, the difference will be 0.25. The difference will be 0.25. But I am not taking 100 rupees from you. How much, how much I am taking? It is given in the question, right? 1200. So it is given at 1200 rupees. 100 should become 1200. What is the multiplying factor? 12. This also multiply by 12. 1 by 4 into 12. 3. <coughs> Over. It can be compounded annually, semi-annually, quarterly, whatever they let them add. This is a concept. <coughs> Clear, right? 38th one. Please see the 38th question. Good question. How beautifully we can solve? Let us see. Please see here. 38th question. If under compound interest, a principal of 1200 amounts to 1348.2 in 2 years, then find the rate of interest. Find the rate of interest. Okay? Find the rate of interest. Please see here. It is a very simple question. All the values are given. You just need to substitute everything and find it out. But let us not use that approach. Please see the answer options. 5 percentage, 6 percentage. 11 percentage, 10 percentage. 11 percentage, 10 percentage. Listen to this carefully. 5 percentage for 2. First of all, listen here. I took 1200 from you. I am giving you 1348.2. How much extra I am giving you? 148.2 rupees extra I am giving you. 
ओके फाइव परसेंटेज फॉर टू इयर्स कॉम्पाउंडेड इट इज अंडर कॉम्पाउंड इंटरेस्ट इट इज अंडर कॉम्पाउंड इंटरेस्ट इट शुड बी सक्सेसिव इफ आई टेक फर्स्ट ऑप्शन एज फाइव परसेंटेज फाइव प्लस फाइव प्लस फाइव इंटू फाइव बाई हंड्रेड टेन पॉइंट टू फाइव परसेंटेज टेन पॉइंट टू फाइव परसेंटेज लेट मी अप्रॉक्सिमेट एज टेन परसेंटेज टेन परसेंटेज वॉट इज टेन परसेंटेज ऑफ द ओरिजिनल अमाउंट वॉट इज टेन परसेंटेज ऑफ थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड वन ट्वेंटी दट मीन आई शुड गिव यू वन ट्वेंटी रुपीज एक्स्ट्रा इज इज वन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ऑप्शन रोल्ड आउट सेकेंड ऑप्शन सिक्स परसेंटेज सिक्स परसेंटेज फॉर टू इयर्स अंडर कॉम्पाउंड इंटरेस्ट सक्सेसिव परसेंटेज सिक्स प्लस सिक्स प्लस सिक्स इंटू सिक्स बाई हंड्रेड ट्वेल्व पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स परसेंटेज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स परसेंटेज आई अप्रॉक्सिमेट टू ट्वेल्व परसेंटेज ट्वेल्व परसेंटेज ऑफ द ओरिजिनल अमाउंट ट्वेल्व परसेंटेज ऑफ थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड इट इज वन फोर्टी फोर इट इज एक्चुअली ट्वेल्व पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स इट विल बिकम वन फोर्टी एट पॉइंट टू वन फोर्टी फोर वन फोर्टी एट पॉइंट टू दे आर क्लोज टू इच अदर आंसर इज सिक्स परसेंटेज You are thinking you should always substitute in formula, but there is another way of learning. Understanding? Always keep an eye in, on the on your answer option. Sometimes answer option itself will give you the answer very quickly rather than your normal approaches. Okay? It is not only that way you need to solve. You should also think in some other ways. In exam, you should always think how to reduce your time in a particular problem. Then only you can solve more number of questions. One forty four and one forty eight point two are close to each other, and sorry, six percentage. Clear, sir? Everyone? One way is to solve, substitute, and solve it. Other way is to go by answer option. Okay. Thirty ninth one. Very good question. See here, how easily we can solve by using this approach. Thirty ninth question. Please see the thirty-ninth question. A certain sum amounts to five thousand in five years and six thousand in six years under compound interest. Find the rate of interest. Please listen here. They are giving that amount at the end of five years. Amount at the end of five years is given as how much? Amount at the end of fifth year. It is given as five thousand rupees. Please read this key point. Amount at the end of year becomes the principal for the next year. Correct? Becomes the principal for the next year. Amount at the end of fifth year, it is also equivalent to principal at the starting of sixth year. Agreed? Principal at the start of sixth year. Clear, right? Principal at the start of sixth year. What they are giving? A certain sum amounts to five thousand in five years and six thousand in sixth year. They are giving amount at the end of sixth year. Amount at the end of sixth year is given as six thousand. Amount at the end of sixth year is given as six thousand. Find the rate of interest. Please listen here. Please listen here. Rate of interest is always calculated for one year. This is the beginning of sixth year. This is the ending of sixth year. This is the ending of sixth year. Don't use any formulas. Please see here. Rate of interest. Beginning of the year, it was five thousand. Initially, it was five thousand. That should come in the denominator. Five thousand is becoming six thousand. How much increase? One thousand. That should come in the numerator. What is one by five? Twenty percent. Twenty percent. Over. Understanding, sir. What is this question? The gap between the two years is one year. This is the this is fifth year. That is sixth year. One year gap. What if the gap is more than one year? That is my next question. Understanding the approach? Hmm. Amount at the end of fifth year will become the principal for the next year. Principal for sixth year. This is the starting of sixth year. This is the ending of sixth year. Rate of interest is always calculated for one year duration. Initially, it was five thousand. That should come in the denominator. Five thousand is becoming six thousand. There is an increase of thousand. That should come in the numerator. How much increase or how much decrease will represent your numerator? Answer is thousand by five thousand one by five twenty percent. Okay. Suppose. What if it is more than one year duration? That is the next question. See here, forty years. A certain sum amounts to nine ninety nine in nine years and two nine nine seven in twelve years under compound interest. Find the principal. See here, amount is given by principal into one plus r percentage to the power of n. A certain sum amounts to nine ninety nine in nine years. They are telling amount is nine ninety nine. It is given as nine years, and it is 
amount into 2997 in 12 years. 2997 in 12 years. Okay. First equation, second equation. Divide second equation by the first equation. 2997 by 999. 3. P gets cancelled. 1 plus R percentage to the power of 12 divided by 1 plus R percentage to the power of 9. Three. X power 12 by X power 9. X power 3. So it is 1 plus R percentage to the power of 3. 1 plus R percentage to the power of 3. Listen to this. 1 plus R percentage power here is 3. Here it is 9. Here it is 12. Make this 3 as 9. Substitute here. Or make this 3 as 12. Substitute here. However, the way you want, you do it. Let me cube it on both sides. I will make it as 9. Cubing both sides. Cubing both sides. 3 cube is 27. 1 plus R percentage to the power of 3. Again, whole cube. 1 plus R percentage to the power of 9. 1 plus R percentage to the power of 9. Agreed? Substitute this 1 plus R percentage to the power of 9 in equation 1. Equation 1 becomes 999 is equal to P into 27. P is nothing but 999 by 27. Answer is 37. Over. Understanding the approach? If the year is 1 year, use this approach. More than 1 year, use that approach. If it is 1 year also, you can use this approach if you want. Same approach you can use here also. Clear, right? Forty-first question. Easy question. Forty-first one. A sum of money placed at compound interest doubles itself in five years. In how many years it will become eight times of itself at the same rate of interest? See here. In compound interest, amount is given by P into 1 plus R percentage to the power of N. P into 1 plus R percentage to the power of N. A sum of money placed at compound interest doubles itself in 5 years. Amount becomes 2 times the principal. When it is? When the number of years is 5 years. When the number of years is 5 years. That is what your first statement says. In how many years? It will become 8 times of itself at the same rate of interest. In how many years? It will become 8 times the principal at the same rate of interest. Question is how many years? Let it be in itself. Okay? See here. This is 2 cancel. 8 cancel. 8 cancel. See here. Left hand side is 8. Can I write it as 2 power 3? 2 power 3. It is 1 plus R percentage to the power of N. 1 plus R percentage to the power of N. But what is 2? 2 is nothing but 1 plus R percentage to the power of 5. Substitute 2 as 1 plus R percentage to the power of 5. Understanding, right? 2 is equivalent to 1 plus R percentage to the power of 5. This is 1 plus R percentage to the power of 5 whole to the power of 3. Whole to the power of 3. This is nothing but 1 plus R percentage to the power of n. What is the n value? 5 is the n is 2. Understanding the approach? The numbers will be given like this. Sir. You did not understand? Thirty? 38.1. In a normal approach. Digital sum not working, sir. Please read the question approximately. Approximately. See here. Please see here. What is the digital sum of 1.9? What is the digital sum of 1.9? 1. 1. 1. I will approximate 1.9 to 2. When I approximate, what is the digital sum of 2? 2. 2. Are the digital sum matching? No. Please write down a note. Digital sum never works when the values are approximated. That is why you are also not getting the answer there. Doubt clear? Digital sum never works when the values are approximated. Clear, sir? So please practice these kind of questions, these kind of ways itself, so that you will also solve these kind of ways in your examination. Otherwise, you will just use formula approaches like uh, how you are using before and you will unnecessarily waste your time. Okay? So practice more and more questions. I think if you solve this sheet once again, probably you will solve any question in SIMK. That is my belief. Okay, so please practice more and more questions. Try to implement the same log logic what we used in the class. Okay, thank you everyone, sir. Thank you.